Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be like part two, I guess, of going through tackle box, going through gift bag with baits in it. But I'm going to go through a little extra. It's like persicias and blooms, so like good crappie catching, uh, water temperatures, real, it's real cold. It's so like you can, uh, you probably want to reel real slow, not real fast, not like you wouldn't during the summer when the water tem temperature's up real high. You'd also really want to use bright colors depending on how dark your water is. If your dark water's real dark, you use bright colors like red, yellow, this. That's what I get luck with. Maybe the blue, blue. You wouldn't want to use a real dark color, so during real dark weather, when the waters are dark, not this big, too dark. Maybe the purple, that might help you a little bit. So like, these are really good crappie baits, bluegill baits, and bass baits, cause they're grubs, bluegill, like grubs. It's so like, for crappie, you want minnows, that's really it. Anything that looks like a minnow will do good. Depends on where you fish. Crappie spawn eight times a year, and they'll have, millions of babies so you'll always have crappie if you spawn if you put 50 crappie in your pond two years you might have three thousand you want to have rock piles that go up it's like like an indian mound almost with a hole and then what layers like flat places for them to lay babies on you want mud bottoms You'll want a log or something, fake logs, fake trees, good spawning places, good places for the bass to hide. Hey, Dad, how many times do bass spawn a year? So they usually spawn once a year, April. So it's in a eight days or nine. How many days are in March? 31? Okay. Nine days. You'll want to use decent pound test line. 25 is a catfish line. 15, 12, all that's good for bass. If you really want to catch crappie, bluegill, six pound. Like he said, best times for fishing is right before spawn. It's like if you know your bass usually spawn around April 15th. Fisher, fish from April 7th to the 16th, and you'll catch every fish in the world. Or right after spawn. It's like they spawn like the 15th, and like the 17th or 18th through the 24th or something. They'll be still wanting to eat, and it'll be the best time to burn them up with a rod. The best, time, the best type of rod I use is a spinning rod. Depends on what you use. I, I have a bait caster and I have a. What's the other rod called? Is it called a closed? Bait caster, spinning rod, and what else? A regular rod. Just one day she had the little push button. So now let's get into some baits after I told you all that. So this one has a assortment Lucky Strike Ringworm Kit. I'm not going to open it. So I've got blue baits, green and purple baits, blue baits, black and red baits, and then the normal down here, black and pink. Best colors I've ever seen, black and pink. I'll do this one. Here's some more homemade baits. But these are crappie homemade baits. So he homemade made them for crappie fishing. The dude said whenever we went to... Remember we were bidding on this, that the fish will jump in your boat, kick you out of your boat for these baits. I don't know if that's really 100% true, but you better believe I, th I hope it is. So, let's just show you a couple. They look just like minnows. Got the different color. So, little, little tail. He's, he's got a lot more in this one than that bath. Last one, I guess they're not as expensive to make. I think he donated these 
So, yeah, the ones. Cabela's Fisherman Series, go to. So I got really had no idea what they're called. If you comment down below, comment down below if you know what they're called. So let's go to the soft baits again. These are <laughs> the California thing again. Blue and pink looking. Not a curly tail, like a real thick tail. And it gets real thin. Look, good looking bait. I love fishing with these colors. This, these are the colors for our pond. This blue and pink. Then lots of green and stuff for the crappie. So I'm going to go to a used bait. He's probably used this bait a lot. It's used for sure. It's got line tied. Let's look at what the hooks look like here. Rusty. Deadly looking. Ah. I was just trying to get the hook in. Orange tiger stripe looking thing. I don't really know what you'd call that. Colored. Got my yum baits. Love the yum. Yeah, I think these are Texas rig. This is what you Texas rig, I think. If anybody don't know what Texas rig is, crazy, crazy hook them. It's where they just flop up. You hook them right through the middle and they just flop. Just make sure, yeah. You just took them right here and they just move around all the time. Look like a worm or something's on the bottom. It's got in the water and looks like easy bait. So that's just hit you hook them. Use a three inch hook or three odd hook or a five offset. A five, a three odd, a four odd, or a five offset. So more yum baits. Never seen these. Looks like. Yum baits. If I can get them opened with a mud minnow. So they've got black minnows. It's like them diving catfish that dive underground. Here's another used bait he's had. Must be a good bait for him. Watermelon candy by Haas. I got some K and K and M bass and bait hooked up. What is that like a crawdad or something? Or salamander. Salamander crawdad or something. Who's running the Duke NDSU game? Yeah, it's game over. Duke tired him out. Stop watching. What are you looking at? I might as well just go to the pole, boys. I'll just show you the pole. Might as well. Big catfish rod. Got line on it. It's a really big pole. Comes with its own kit. Um, if you can see, it's got a bass starter kit. It's got a, it's got a couple worms, couple worms. And that's it. Couple hooks. Huh? 
I know how to, t oh, a worm. I know how to Texas root, whatever else it's called. Like big worms, floppy worms. Okay. I'm a Texas root. It's weedless. It's weedless. Can't get weeds in it now. Hey. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to put this one in here. So I fixed my rod. Together. This is a Texas rig for a worm. It's weedless. Can't get no weeds in it. You could just throw it right on top of lily pads and just, just do whatever you want. Just drill her in all over the weeds. Huh. Now, I still have a ton of baits in here. Tournament series, flicker worm, bass pro shops. Got the yellow, yellow tail. Looks like a really good bait. I thought they were little baits. I thought they were like crappie and bluegill baits. Doesn't look like it. They're they're six inches for sure. Got a spo spoiler shad swimming bait. They're by Cream. So double sided tape. Hate that double sided tape. Got a really nice bait. Looks really pretty. I think it'll work. Here's some more trigger baits. Trigger the bite. This, they're white. Got some orange beetle swims by Johnson. Crappie and bluegill. So, let's hope, they, let's hope it works like I hope they do. Uh, got another hook. Hook some bass bait company. I think I've already showed you some of them. I had pretty good baits. Ew, they stink. They smell weird. They smell weird, and they also kind of smell good. It's like... Super Salt Plus, you tell. Montaroil, Shadow Reuse. I probably, probably messed up. 315. You probably know what they are. They're Zoom. You probably have them. I like Zoom probably the best out of net bait, the go to bait, really salt, super BK tube. It's just a tube, it's hollow. I like them. I got another Zoom here. These are Maggle Monster 12 inch California 420. I've got the super salt. Super salt. Big footers, probably a probably a musky bait is what I'd say, or just really big bass down in Okeechobee, somewhere down there, Alabama. Seem to always have the big bass. Don't seem like us up here north don't have the biggest bass. We always have the smaller bass. They have the big bass. Vicious fishing for the ultimate. Tubey tube, four inch, five pack, watermelon seed. Charmer, timber dog, watermelon candy. Hey, there's eight of them. Garlic scented. That, that's probably a warmer water bait. Probably be a bait you... you Want to swim faster? 
Uh, I've got some trigger baits. There's six of them in here, but I only have two. I guess this dude really likes them. Single packed. Trigger. He's I've had a lot of trigger baits in here. They're the pink. You can make them weedless if you want. I'm going to go to the bobbers next. Still have a lot in there. Bobbers got all sizes. Got the big bo big catfish bobbers and the little bluegill bobbers. Go back to the zoom baits. I've got zoom, super salt plus, six inch lizard, green pumpkin. Pretty good. Some of these baits I've never heard of. and I've never seen them. It's like this bait don't have a package on it. Her name, so I have no idea what they are. But all I know is they're tube. I like tubes. My sisters like to fish with tubes. Our ponds like them too. The bass and bluegill and all that like them. Yum. Ribbon tail. Yum. 7.6 ribbon tail. 12 pack. Tequila sun. It looks really pretty. I'll go up here with my eagle claw, eagle claw, barrel, barrel swivel with safety snap. There's 12 of them and they're a size 10. Man, this dude must have really liked these baits. He left me with hardly any. So like some of these baits he just... He just took out his tackle box and said, these are good baits. You can have them. I'll buy new ones. I guess. So this is a gambler. Go fish. Global anglers. I don't know what these are. These are flukes. Or I think you can make, yeah, these are flukes. You can make, a, you can make this a fluke if you want. Put a little thing in the and got flip. This is Hook Some Bass Bait Company. I've had a couple of these too. Ooh. Oh, crawfish. Huh? This tape didn't want to come off. Slurpees. Northland fishing tackle, supercharged with so sauce. I have no idea what these are, so I'm gonna take a look. See what, like what they look like. Other oh, cross. No. Oh, this one has a hook in it. Nice. Guess he's used it. So he's Texas rig or weedless rig. This one doesn't look like it's had very many fish, but I don't really know. I see tournament fishes, so who knows where he's been fishing? He's probably been to Florida and stuff. Some centipede. Looking things. No, I kind of don't want to get them out. Uh, I don't know if this one, where it was supposed to be. I'll set that one up there. It's just one of them pink baits. Here's another one of them pink baits. These triggers. 
It's just by itself. Uh, another trigger. Oh, no fuel. So, here's a bait that I'd, I'll probably use one of the most. Whenever you swim it, it looks like there's two minnows in it. Because there's two minnows inside this bait. So it looks like two minnows are swimming in a school, a school too. And the bass will come up and just grab them. That's when you set the hook, got the double hook with the hook. Protectors. Cool. I got some gambler go fish. W These are, let's see. Don't really say, but like. I don't really know what color they are. They're like culprit, red bug, six inches. Got some Zoom, Super Salt Plus, Utail, Watermelon, well, Watermelon Red. Okay, I got some hooks. These are four, four ox. Four zeros. I guess that's pretty good. And I've got Big Bite Baits Pro Series Cross. I got some Kalins. Five inch Lunker Grub Green Pumpkin slash Purple FLX. Big Bite Baits Pro Series. These are four inch craw tube Huckleberry. They look cool. Oh, there's only like one or two of these. 4.5 inch squirrel tail worm. There's a sort in here, it looks like. Flappy, da Flappy Daddy Blueberry Muffin. Gambler Lures. These are hooks and bass, crawdads, I guess. I got some more hooks, five aughts, big hooks. That's what big boys use, five aughts. Hooks and bass. Oh, I have some of these. I showed them in my, going through my bass tackle box. They've got the lizard green pumpkin seed, I guess. Uh, these are net baits. Pop, pocket Craw Smoke Purple. I have just a little bit hanging in there with me. 4.5 Squirrel Tail Worm Black. Black. They're just black. It's all in there. I think I have one to look like. I think that's it. Nope, just a bait. Spoiler Shad Swimming Bait. That's it. So most of these baits I've went through, I'm going to say they're warm water, maybe most of them. Some of them are cool water. Some of them are daytime. Some of them are rainy weather. Some of them are not even like these spinner shads and whatever. These are for sure crappie baits. There's probably a couple bluegill baits in here that a bluegill will bite. There's some in here that will catch really big fish, and some in here that will catch just about any fish, any size. So, thank you guys for sticking in with me, and I'll see you next.